Um, there's a hedgehog in this box, and he's kind of scary. You'll see him eventually. But for now, we talk about this. I am now 30 years old. 30! 30! Oh my god. I've been 30 for only a few seconds as of this recording, but... Kind of interesting. Makes me want to think. Just kind of like, where is my life going? What am I doing? I'm opening this box, but then what's next? Will I continue working on translations? Will I continue to stream? I've forgotten how to do that recently. Probably. Probably gonna end up doing that either tomorrow or the next day. Um, but today I wanted to just take a moment and just kind of like, relax. Yes, that is my hand. Yes, it is super, super old looking because I am very, very old. Um, also I have, I have like, I put freaking duct tape on my hands for some strange reason. I don't know what that's about. Um, but gosh, as you can see, this is a box full of stuff I bought myself for my birthday. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is, <clears throat> um, this CD, which is, um, 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 can you get it open? Are you gonna get it open? I don't think... I don't think I could... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. There we go. Meh. You got it? You got it? What are you doing? Oh, oh, you're flying. You're flying. Yes, yes. It is definitely an airplane. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Now, do you want to put that in the garbage? Very good. Good. Okay, yes, my room is a mess, by the way. Okay, so this is Paint the Star. Um, this is Hoshino Mare's second album. Um, it's got all these cool songs on it. Oh, look, that's what she used to look like. Very, very rock, rocky, rocky VTuber. Um, rocky in terms of, like, the songs she makes. They're very rock-powered. What is it? What's that one song I translated that's going up later? Um, and I hear some Japanese text, which is like... What does it translate to again? But her own style of rock that she paints. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, um, one of the songs that I actually ended up translating from that album was, um... Ah, oh, shoot. Shout my life. Shout my life. That's what it's called. You'll see that later. If, if you have time. Alright. Next one is... A game I bought re previously. When it first came out. But I totally lost it. Because I'm stupid. So this is... Neo! The World Ends With You! A sequel to one of my old favorite games. I love this game. I love all the characters. I love... All freaking Brett's quips in battle. Um, only the possibility of you can change your fate. What is that? What does that mean? Boop. And then there's the code. You can use that if you prefer. So yeah. Apparently, the freaking Switch can save your, like, memory, so I didn't end up losing my, uh, save file when I checked. Uh oh The game fell. What am I doing? What is that? Oh, I'm looking for a secret gift. Yes. Oh, well. There. Perfect. There. Alright. Next thing in the box is... Uh, this. So here's something that I discovered recently by complete accident. Not accident, but like just straight up randomly. Um, I was on the high seas, we will call it that, and I found this anime called
called um, Stardust Telepath or Hoshikuzu Telepath. And I just had to get the manga because it was like 10 bucks. And I was like, sure. It's cute. It's got cute art. These characters are wholesome. They just want to build a rocket. This girl just wants her friend to get home. And her friend just happens to be an alien. Boom. Forehead. Odeko oh, is forehead. Look at that. Those are the three main characters. Maybe there's more. I didn't check. I haven't gotten that far in the series. And I haven't read this book yet. I just skimmed through it. So you have Pink. You have... I think her name is... You? I, I, I don't know that for certain. Maybe not. But yeah, a lot of it is like four panel. Actually, it's entirely four panel. But there is a story here. It's not just comedy. Why'd you stop? Oh yeah, because I was looking for the front page, which was hidden. Hidden somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun reading this. I wonder if there's like an official English translation? Um, if not, I could always try. I know there's one manga I really want to translate, which I will not expose the name of. Um, it's like this really little known one about like this dude who ends up falling in love with this girl. Oh yeah, that's one of the characters. She she makes stuff. I guess they're gonna make a rocket. And she's a big part of that. So yeah, I'll just put that there. Maybe I'll continue reading the manga. Or reading the story later. Or I'll forget about it for three years. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Never change. Hmm? What happens now? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <gasps> the next thing to be discovered is... Whatever this thing is. What is that? 3DS game? Yes, it is a 3DS game, and... Good god, I spent some time trying to get this open. I actually kind of want to skip ahead. Um. But I'm not. I'm going to see myself fight and fight and fight till it gets opened. Because this game is worth the fight. I'm going to wait to reveal it. This is the first DS 3DS game I've bought, like, complete in box in, like, years. I don't even remember the last one. I think it was like... What? Third Dragon? Back in 2021? That was like three years ago. Alright, we skipped over and we've got the thing off. So now, this was a pleasant surprise. Um, Trying to demo for a 3DS game called Ever Oasis. And it was really just... Just a nice little time. Also, goodbye garbage. Um, it was just a nice little time, and I was just like, oh, I've got to get myself the full game. It, it, not only do I love the graphics, I love the characters and the way they look. They're all so cute. And you're pretty much just helping this blue ocean lady save the desert and make it not a desert. But you know what? I don't like deserts very much. And this is probably the best desert I've ever been to. Um, so yeah. I think everyone should try this game, especially if you're into action RPGs. I think it's produced or directed by the same dude who did some of the early Mana games. So that's Koishi Ishii. So, there you go. Meh. That is a game I've been wanting to pick up, but it's always, always, always been way too expensive. And now I have the chance. Especially after playing that freaking um, Sigma Bobber. Also, I could understand the freaking text. That freaking that freaked me out. Yeah, I see that. Ha! <laughs> Peace. All right. Next up, we have Snake Number One. <clears throat> Man, I really wish I brought some water for this. 
Deer snake thing, dang it. Deer snake thing. Oh, oh, it doesn't want to leave. Nope, it refuses. There you go. Take that. You're like I didn't bitch slap of destiny you to death. Oh god, it's back. There you go, we're safe. Only through death can you be safe. Alright, oh god, it's the third one. <sighs> Alright, this is getting kind of silly. There you go. Just, just leave me alone. Oh, this is the small one. Okay, so... Um... Back in 2021, on a whim, I played a game called Kuru 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 Din, which was the awesomest time ever. And then I streamed the sequel shortly after. Um, but I fudged it up because I didn't know much Japanese, or at least the Japanese that was on screen. Oh, yeah. So I tried again in January of 2022, and I fudged that up. And then I tried again in June of 2022, and I finally, finally beat it. And uh, this is that game. This is that game. I've always wanted to get a legit copy, but like, I couldn't find a copy that was like cheap enough. So there you go. Wait, we just gotta open it up though. And then of course now it has the English translation by Dimdime, based. Based English translator. So now all the humans on the world, on the world, in the world, can enjoy this game. And so can I. I actually tried it out on my DS, and um, unfortunately the, the, the save data just corrupted on me, which is not a good sign. But at least it's saving, so things are looking good. Jeez, we don't want to do that. Holy snap! Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we just do this a little peacefully, please? 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 Hmm. But yeah, I remember freaking. It was only a couple weeks ago that I found out that this game had an English translation, and not only that, but freaking squash too. That's crazy. When I inevitably get my new laptop, I am definitely going to stream Squash because I cannot stream that game with my VTuber model at the same time. And I'm not doing one without the other. But yes, here it is. Green Paradise. Wah. Also, playing on actual hardware made me realize just how... I don't know what this is. <laughs> Made me realize just how, like, smeared the image gets compared to, like, an emulator on my 3DS or, like, on the computer. Um, and of course, the hedgehog itself, we have... Wait. <laughs> They didn't even close it. What the heck? Err. But yeah, here it is. Here's the big guy. This is. Good God! Such a violent way of opening things. Boom! 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 Ah, you're free! Oh, there's nothing inside here except for the void. We have... Unigoody! From, uh, Zutomayo. Uh, I think this... Ow. I think this is, um, the one from Stay Foolish. Specifically. He looks like it. Oh gosh, this is the hedgehog that always accompanies Nira. Um, the many Niras. Um, in the Envies. Oh, look how cute he is. Now we just need his girlfriend. Wherever she is. 
I think she's sold separately. Bish. Oh, that cute little patootie. I'm gonna hold this for the rest of my life. And if I ever lose it, I'll probably buy a new one. Bish. But yeah. So we got Everoasis. We've got Stardust Telepath. Or Hoshikuzu Telepath. I'm not sure why didn't why they didn't translate the Japanese on that, but whatever. I'll read that later. Alright, put it, put it down. Put it down. We've got... Could it be Paradise? Maybe I'll try to get all the times. The best times. We've got Peak Fiction. And we've got Peak Music. Paint the Star. Oh yeah. And that is about it for this unboxing. Look at all those cool gifts. Plus 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 I've seen a version of this where he doesn't have the freaking nose. So it was probably just a manufacturing defect, but it's the cutest thing in the world. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Um hmm. Oh. Oh, here we are in uh oh god. This is off center, isn't it? There you go. So, I want to take a moment to just talk about things. Um, I I don't really know how to oh, start these little moments, but um, I uh, just been reflecting on being 30 and um, realizing what I want to do with my own life. I definitely, definitely think there's merit to um, I think there's merit to this whole song translation thingamajagger, thingma, 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 thingma that I've been doing, um, since 2022. Um, I probably should have prepared notes. Whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I really like doing that and it makes me happy and I learn some stuff. Um, so that's definitely going to stay. I did not expect it to take a big part of this channel. I remember back when I originally did my auto translations. Um, it was only going to be those three songs and I was just not going to touch anything. Aside from Kinene Tohiko. And I, I, I did the auto song translations because I was waiting for the star sign guide um which I eventually did a translation on as well um so yeah translations are here to stay on this channel as are my uh VTuber diary thingamaboppers maybe I'll do some vertical streams uh too but I don't know I might be hitting what they call a midlife crisis pretty soon. Wondering what I should invest my time in. How I should invest my time. How I should approach other people. Um, 2023, for all the good things that it gave me, also gave me a lot of unfortunate setbacks. Um... I know one of the things that I struggle with is the fact that I can't really talk about my problems because I feel like it will bring about the end of the world. Um, what I mean by that is when I was in college, I used to talk about my struggles and I would usually get um, disregarded or people would just make excuses um, for the things that I had an issue with, which I didn't really appreciate, but it's whatever. Eventually, I just kind of realized that it's probably best if I don't talk about those things that bother me anymore. So I've been pretty tight-lipped, and that's why. And I'm still tight-lipped to this day, but also I realized that by doing that, it also creates a sense of confusion or other 
it, it's it's probably not good in some other way that I'm still trying to figure out even now. Um, but yeah, I hmm, that's still a work in progress. Um, but yeah, I had some not so happy setbacks. Um, so last year was kind of a what? It was it was like a bowl of oatmeal that's been left out to dry. It's still tasty, but it's not as good as it could have been. Um, this year also started out kind of muddy because of the office closure, which ended up destroying kind of my mood for a good while. There was the 10 days of sadness where I had lost my job, <clears throat> only to be offered it back. Um, I guess I kind of got lucky on that front even though I really wished that I could just be left to find a different place. Um, so there's that. Right now, financially, I am perfectly okay. I could definitely be stronger. Um, but I'm still, you know, raising money. Um, just in case something stupid happens. I'm still raising money for other things aside from serious stuff, like I need to get a laptop, a new one. Um, like I mentioned before, I also need to get my 2D model. Uh, I'm pretty certain that the person who I'm interested in is about to open their commissions, and I am so freaking ready to throw like two to three thousand right there and then. And when that gets started, I am going to hold off on revealing that until like next year when I'm 31 um let's see what else should I say um I gotta be careful with my words cause when I get when I get um deep in all cereal like this I don't want any misconceptions to occur um let's see hedgehog goals 2000 okay I talked about 2023 um 2024 I will try to make a stronger year I got you know that whole thing with the office of course I mentioned that already but I'm not gonna let that stop me forever I have tra I, bleh, I have song translations that I am working on I'm in a better work habit, I guess. The only thing I really need to do, like, no, I, I'm in a better work habit, like, uh, for myself. Like, I know where and when to work on the translations, um, as well as the vacation translation guidebook thing that I'm working on still. I try to make sure at least two pages get done, um, per day. So there's that. Uh, da, 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 da. So, when that's done, it'll be done, and then we'll take it from there. Um, let's see. Aside from that, I really need to get back into the habit of actually playing games on stream, as well as making certain that I don't delete my Twitch account whenever I get sad. <laughs> because I've been doing that for the past two years, and... Oh, man. I feel really bad because, um... I know there are some really cool people that are no longer around. Like... I've met a couple of really awesome individuals. Um... They know who they are. Um... But I feel like if I didn't... If I had better control of my mood, I'd at least be able to salvage my Twitch the way I do my YouTube, and I'd probably be in a slightly better place, or a, I, I'd be in a way better place, so one of the things I really am trying to get myself to do is to just, if I get into a bad mood, I don't want to take that out on myself, because I don't think that's very fair. Um, 
and as a result, the things that I like to play with, like my Twitch and my YouTube, will be perfectly intact. Um, so there is that, and hopefully by keeping to that promise for myself, I will be able to create or cultivate a, um, a thing for myself that people can see and be like, oh, what a silly blue-haired person. And we can go from there. <laughs> so yeah, that's a goal I have. Wait, so how many goals do I have? I have getting the 2D model, saving more money, um, working on more translations, and song translations and vacation, it's a guidebook, and then not letting my sadness delete the things that I love, um, as well as um, some fifth thing that I can't think of right now. Oh yeah, streaming more, because I have been super lazy recently. Like, I come home and I'm just like, whatever. And it's been like that ever since I started streaming Lunar. I think Lunar just destroyed my motivation in terms of streaming, which, you know, I did eventually beat that game. So it's like, I don't need to be, I don't need to be tied down to, um, that game's influence. I mean, hey, if you like Lunar, then props to you. Me, I just wanted to beat it to get out of the way. Um, but yeah, I just gotta find the right game, and when I do, I'm so addicted it's not even funny. I also need to eat my dinner faster. So, those are five goals I have for myself, um, going forward. Um, I'll, I'll say this, it's a, a little bit difficult, but, um, I know I'm not the best person, I'm really bad at communicating with people, I don't have very many friends, um, but I still want to try and make certain that something works in spite of my struggles, because I feel like living has its perks. <laughs> that's so weird. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to end off with for now. I'll probably stream later. I really want to stream, um, Sonic Advance. Because, wait, no, I won't reveal the reason. I, I just want to stream the game. So yes, gersh, gersh. Hmm. Maybe I can talk about all the... Eh. Oh, actually, I'm gonna end this off by talking about... Um... The models. Again. My, my VTuber models. So, we have this one, which was made by Gremlin Magica. Um... Let's see... How do I do this? One, two, three, four current streams. And then we are going to Daily Tools. Where the heck is that thing? Is it PNG VTuber Maker? No, it's VTube Studio. Alright, we're gonna leave this. Fun fact about that model, I'm actually gonna get an update to that pretty soon. So I'm not going to be wearing a, a sweater anymore. I'm just going to be wearing a shirt. Wearing a shirt. Mm. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. We're just going to turn the tracking on. And then, of course, we have this model. Uh, when it wakes up, we have this model which was made by Rika. The first one was made by Gremlin. This one is made by Rika from Echo Tone. And then, and then, um, 
Nah. Nah, what's happening? Huh. I forgot how small this model is. <gasps> we have this one. Uh, 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 uh. Unfortunately, the first time I used this was during the crash stream, uh, which I stopped streaming because I realized I was going to get into masochism mode pretty soon over those platinum relics. Oi, that would not have been fun. So this model never really had an official, like... Actually, wait, none of my models ever have official introductions except for the Magicka model. Oh, look how small they are. They fit on this bridge. That is so good. And then, of course, we have, um... Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I mean, eventually we'll have the 2D model as well, but, like, for the moment, we have that one. See? 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 Watch my PNG tuber model. I use this when I feel lazy. Actually, no, I shouldn't use that word. I'm not gonna use lazy. What I mean to say is, like, I use it whenever I feel like I don't want to go in front of a camera and have to fight with tracking. But that is pretty much it. That, that little drawing I made myself. But, let's go back to... Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. I think just for the sake of fun, I'm going to use the original. Oh. Boom. 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 Where is it? Ah, there you go. Oh god. Oh, wow, you're so giant. Hey, wait, this isn't the model I was looking for. There you go. My shoulders are tiny. But yes, I remember this model so feverishly. I used it every single day because I loved it so much. And then I got the update with the superstars. And then I got the bigger update with the bigger shoulders. But sometimes... Sometimes I miss my old shoulders. Look how small they are. I can fit in a box. Like the box I got the hedgehog in. Oh well. Oh, <gasps> it's the beeping sound. You know, I really ought to buy a replacement for that. Oh well, I'm going to bed now. Good night. And to, to many more adventures we go, I think. Ah. <gasps> However, none were able to ascend the heavens thing of robber, and in time, one by one, they disappeared. Where'd they go, Florida? I bet they went to Florida.